For the following exercises, sketch the graph of each equation. So here we have f of x is equal to negative 2x minus 1. So remember, just get rid of this. I hate the f of x notation, but just call it y. It makes our life a little easier. So this is going to be negative 2x minus 1. Okay, and what I'm actually going to do just to give myself a lot of space, I'm just going to put it right above. Now what we need to do is quickly draw a set of axes. Okay, so let's draw one maybe here, the y-axis, and here's going to be my x. You can label them if you like. So now, always start, it's easiest. If you're working with an equation, I suggest always start with the y-intercept. Okay, so what's the y-intercept of this equation? Remember, this equation follows the general form of y is equal to mx plus b. And b is always the thing that represents the y-intercept. So what is b in this equation, or in this equation, doesn't matter, right? Negative 1. That's the y-intercept. So on your y-axis here, find where negative 1 is. Remember, that's the origin. That's 0, 0. So negative 1 would be located just beneath it. Cool. Now what you're going to do is then do, um, apply basically the slope to it, okay? So we have to, uh, relative to the y-intercept, we're now going to plot the slope. Now for these problems, I always want you to turn your slope into a fraction. <gasps> did you say we got to use fractions? Mm, I think I did. I think I did, okay? Now don't be intimidated by it. Anytime you have a whole number, that whole number can always be represented by putting it over 1, right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the slope, negative 2, and I'm simply going to put 1 underneath it. So any whole number you have, just put a 1 under it. If it's already in a fraction, then leave it alone. Now what you must remember is that the slope here, which is rewritten like this, and the reason why I'm writing it like that is because slope is always change in the y value divided by change in the x value. It's always the change in the y value divided by the change in the x value. It's always y over x. So what this allows me to now realize is it allows me to now realize that the y is changing by negative 2 units. And the x, then, is changing by positive 1 unit. Now, how do I know it's positive? Well, if I plug it in as a negative number, this is a double negative, and that becomes positive. But wait a minute, the slope should be negative. That's how I know. If I leave it as a positive, it stays negative. I'm confused. Okay. So, what I now need to do is take this, and, and relative to now your y-intercept, plot now, or plot this particular slope. So we got a, the y is changing by negative two units. So we start at that y-intercept, and we got to go down two units. Why down? Because it's negative y. All right, so I had to go down two units. Then I look at my x value here, and I say to myself, it's a positive one. Where do I then go from there? I have to go to the right one unit, because it's positive. So the right is positive on the x. And now I know my new point right there where I crossed. Okay, so let's clean this up and let me plot that point right here. And now you can apply the same thing. Take this and then go down two units because that's the change in the y and then over one unit. And here we are. Okay. Now you can also, interestingly enough, you can take this and basically move the sign if you wanted. You could call this fraction, this fraction is the same thing as saying 2 over negative 1, isn't it? Because isn't 2 divided by negative 1 still negative 2, basically? And that's what the slope is. So now watch. If I start here, and now I apply this slope to it, I have to then go up two units. So i got to go up. And then this is telling me to go to the left now, to one unit. So notice it would be right here, right? But notice how beautifully that point lines up with the other points, right? It lines up beautifully. So notice it doesn't really matter which way you were to, quote unquote, distribute that negative sign. But you better not put two negatives there. Don't do it. Do not do it. Unless this was positive, okay? And then we actually could. Maybe, maybe I'll explain it. Actually, no, just check out the prior one on the playlist, actually. I think I did that. All right, so maybe I'll save you guys here. But anyway, that's how we plot the line. Now let's fly through the next. Okay, here's our 
function, change that to just a y. y is equal to negative 3x plus 2. Plot your axes. Watch how fast this is. Boom. Bing. X and y. Where's the y-intercept? The y-intercept here was a positive 2. So plot that. So a positive 2 y-intercept is right there. Now take a look at your slope. That's a whole number. Turn it into a fraction. Remember, just take the value then and simply put 1 under it, positive 1. Now all you got to do is literally just remember that change in y. Slope is always change in y over change in x. So the y is changing by negative 3 units, so you got to go down 3 units. The x is then changing by positive 1 unit, so you got to go out to the right to positive 1 unit, and boom, there you go. Down 3 over 1. Okay, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and look at how quick that was. All right, let me try to line this up. I'm going to angle it a little better. One second. And that looks fairly good. And there's the line. Last but not least, let's draw, well, let's draw a straight axis. Okay, you can plot it, you can label it as x and y. Again, you call this y is equal to one-third now. Oh, it's already in fractional form, but we're not scared by it now because literally we know how to deal with them. So first find the y-intercept. It's going to be a positive 2. So plot that, positive 2. Now identify the slope. It's one-third. That's fine. It's already in fractional form. And remember that slope is always going to be the change in y over the change in x. So notice that the change in y, y is changing by positive 1 unit, so if you're going to start here, you go up one unit, because it's positive, and then x is changing by positive three units. So that means you've got to go out to the right three units. And that's it. Plot the point there. Then apply it again. Up one to the right three. Right? And now notice that if I were to take this particular fraction and I said negative one over negative three, remember this is the same as this, because their double negatives would cancel. But notice, if I had to start now on this point, and I had to go plot a negative 1, right? Oh, the y is changing by negative 1, I go down 1. And then the x is changing by negative 3, I got to go out 3 to the left now. And notice that this point here is beautifully in line with the other ones. You see how that works out so beautifully? All right? Now, you don't have to do that, but I'm just showing you in case the problem changes a little bit. And there's your line. All right? So guys, thank you so very much, all right? Subscribe, hit that like button. We appreciate you so very much. And I'll see you in the next problem. Have a great day.